My name is Claire Schroyer, and for my presentation, I did STIs with a focus on gonorrhea. And um, the target audience would be high school students, grades 9 through 12. And it would be approximately a one hour lesson. Um, my objectives are given a PowerPoint about gonorrhea, students will identify one way it can be transmitted, transmitted one symptom, and one method of prevention in a letter to a friend. Um, given a warm-up about ST activity about STIs, students will be able to identify at least one interesting fact about STIs during a class discussion. And after being shown a video, students will provide a brief summary of at least three steps to effectively putting on a condom as an exit slip. Um, materials needed would be a f um, 25 factor fiction sheets, um, a computer, a projector, and um, the PowerPoint, 25 PowerPoint handouts, and space to sit and stand and extra paper for the students. Um, so as a warm-up, the students would be given um, the STI factor fiction sheet, which is separated into four sections. Each group would get one section, and um, they would go to the front of the class and present each fact, and they can either keep it as a fact or change it to fiction, and then the rest of the class has to vote on whether they think that it was fact or fiction. So once all four groups have presented all of the statements, then they would return to their seats, and we would go into... Um, the PowerPoint. I would also give each student um, the student version of the PowerPoint which has blanks for them to fill in as we go. Um, then I would present the PowerPoint which is just a basic overview of um, STIs and gonorrhea specifically. So um, it's called what are sexually transmitted diseases and I would start off talking about different things to consider when um, choosing to be sexually active. Uh, one thing would be um, sexually transmitted diseases would be a big part of it. Um, pregnancy is also another big factor when deciding if you should be sexually active. Um, you need to think about the relationship you have with your partner. and. Um, Self-respect and your reputation also go into deciding. Um, and then a big factor is also being able to say no if you're uncomfortable with the situation at hand. Um, so the definition of sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, are infections that can be transmitted through sexual contact with an infected individual. And they're also termed sexually transmitted infections and the two terms are used interchangeably now. Um, they, were, they used to be named VD, or venereal diseases, and they were named after the goddess of love, which is Venus. <clears throat> um, so specifically, gonorrhea has many names, and it, these include the clap, drip, or a dose, and uh, each year, approximately 650,000 uh, U.S. citizens contract gonorrhea. Um, it can also be spread from mother to child during birth, and it can lead to other problems and infections. So how do you contract gonorrhea? Um, it can be passed by vaginal or anal sex, as well as oral sex. Um, some symptoms usually appear within five to seven days, or it can be as long as 30 days. Um, these include sore or red throat if it was um, from oral sex. Um, if it was from anal sex, there would be blood or pus in, the, in your bowel movements, and you could possibly experience rectal pain too. In females and males, the symptoms are a little bit different. Um, females, it can take 2 to 21 days after sex to appear. 
and these include yellow or white discharge from the vagina, pain or burning during urination, bleeding between periods or heavier and painful periods, and cramps and pain in the lower abdomen. Male symptoms include yellow or white discharge from the penis, pain or burn burning during urination, and frequent ur urination, as well as swollen testicles. Um, so like I said before, if gonorrhea goes untreated, it can cause a number of other problems. Um, it can spread to pelvic and the pelvic and sex organs and cause both males and females to um, be unable to have children. Um, the, it can cause pain and swelling in the knees and other joints, and it can cause skin and heart problems too. In pregnant women, um, it can affect the infant as it passes through the birth canal during birth, and um, these problems can include blindness, joint infection, and life-threatening blood infections. Uh, treatment of gonorrhea is it's usually cured with antibiotics, which is um, a tablet or an injection. And it's really important that you take these antibiotics as prescribed for the full time. And um, you need to make sure that your partner gets treated as well. And you both need to get tested within three months to make sure that the infection is gone. And you cannot have sex until the infection is gone. Prevention, um, obviously the main way of preventing gonorrhea is abstinence. Um, you should also use condoms if you don't choose abstinence and make sure that you and your partner have been tested before having sex. And then I would have um, the students watch a YouTube clip about how to properly put on a condom. Um, and then once I was done with the PowerPoint, um, the students are to write a letter to a friend um, that um, includes one way that gonorrhea can be transmitted, one symptom, and one method of prevention. And this would be done individually um, and turned in before leaving class. And then as an exit slip, students would either write down or um, talk about this with the person sitting next to them. The at least three steps to properly putting on a condom and that concludes my teaching presentation on gonorrhea.